Hey, if you're considering putting your house on the market, now is a great time. Stick around, I'm gonna give you some great things to consider before putting that for sale sign in the front yard. What's up everybody, it's Matt Allen here with the Allen team. I hope you're having a good day today. The good news about this video is I am gonna provide a link down below to a document you can download called Things to Consider When Selling Your Home. Um, you just have to click on that link, it's free of charge. You can, you can go take a look at that. Today, we are gonna focus on all the things leading up to putting that sign in the front yard and getting the house active on the market. Um, we're going to go through just a couple of, of things to consider. In that download, it's going to be a more complete uh, set of, of information on what to do when you are preparing for the, the sale process. You know, the really good news happening right now is we are in a seller's market for sure. Uh, we don't know how long that's going to last, but based on the inventory available, it's going to be some time before the inventory catches up to the amount of buyers out there. Um, so the very first step I always tell all of my sellers to consider is, is realistically coming up with a value on the property. That is first and foremost um, because a lot of times a seller and a realtor are not on the same wavelength when it comes to uh, valuation of a house. What not to do to valuate your house is to put your address into Google and click on one of those instant valuations, and you know who I'm talking about, to get a valuation on your house, and that being the end all sale price that you're only going to consider, because those instant valuations don't take a lot of things into consideration, specifically if you're in a unique neighborhood, if you're in a golf course community, if you're on the lake, it's not going to uh, adequately adjust for those so do not do that um, instead what you want to do is contact a realtor and go through the valuation process having them do a, uh, a complete market analysis of your house of the neighborhood looking at recent sales recent pendings active property on the market that is similar like kind property so that's where you want to start get everybody on the same page as far as what the valuation is on your property before we start because a lot of agents will take on a listing based on what you think the value is worth just to get the listing and as of recently that's that's just not the most effective way to do things um, so make sure you guys are all on the same page um, and the realtor can provide accurate comparables to show uh, what your house is, is should be worth Okay, now that you have a valuation on your property that's realistic and that both you and the real estate agent are in agreement on, the next thing to do is really prepare to get your house ready for uh, sale. Um, a lot of these things are obvious. They're in a lot of different videos, but there are a couple of things that I'm going to tell you that are tricks of the trade that I've learned in my, my many years of experience. Um, first and foremost, try to get rid of the items that are going to come up in an inspection. Things like uh, put off repairs, um, you know, your AC has not been cleaned in a long time. Things like that you really want to go through and, and, and handle. I know it's an additional expense, but it will make a ton of difference when you get an offer on a property, especially now where the inspections are becoming very important to buyers. They want to make sure that they don't have to go into a house and do a lot of work. Um, so first and foremost, get rid of those repairs. Um, knock them out. Have a, a handyman or a specialist handle those, those issues ahead of time. If you want to go that extra step, hiring a home inspector to do a complete home inspection in your house ahead of time goes a long way when you present that to a buyer and show them all the things that were found and how you corrected them. Declutter, clean, make sure the house is in presentable condition. If you haven't painted in a long time and 
you've got some obvious damage to carpets and things like that, that should be corrected ahead of time as well. And, and that's based on your budget. So if you have the money to replace carpet or uh, redo flooring, repaint a room, um, those things go a long way getting prepared to, to put the house on the market. The next thing that is most important for you as the seller is to get your mindset correct as far as what to expect once you put that house on the market, that for sale sign in the front yard, it goes on MLS, getting yourself prepared for the showings because in this market, if everything's done correctly, they're going to come fast and furious. You just need to be prepared to allow as easily as possible for a buyer to access your property whether you're letting them into the house whether you're putting an electronic lockbox in the house um, you need to prepare yourself that you're always going to be in that show ready condition that means making sure the house is clean and picked up these again are obvious things that that most agents will go through with you but it's a mindset you got to prepare yourself mentally that I'm just gonna go ahead and, and start my morning off having the house prepared in case there are any uh, showings for the day. Okay, so you've got your house realistically priced. You've taken care of all the deferred maintenance in the house, meaning you know repainting, fixing that AC unit, getting the house spick and span ready to go for your first showing. You've mentally prepared yourself for those showings um, so that you are ready every morning you're making the bed getting everything prepared ready for those showings that may come for the day the next step is equally important and that's to sit down with your realtor and kind of discuss the flow of a transaction um, so that there's no surprises to you when offers start coming in how are you going to handle those offers is the agent going to come over and meet with you are they going to discuss it over the phone? Do you have an understanding of some of the negotiating uh, attributes of a contract that some buyers are going to ask for? Closing dates, inspection periods, appraisals, uh, contingencies for the sale of their house. So there's a lot of things to understand. Make sure you have that squared away with your realtor uh, prior to actually putting the house on the market. So I want to add in one quick tip for you um, when meeting with your agent. Uh, which I find is to be very important right now is the photography being done to the property. Not only would I suggest or require um, professional photos being taken of the house, I would also recommend having aerial photos done, video walkthroughs of the house. Um, there's a whole array of, of different techniques and, and services out there. Matterport, which does a whole design of your house so you can walk through it. Um, especially in the environment we're in right now, that's becoming very crucial to getting a buyer to, to make a move on a property. Um, the other thing that, that's extremely important that is overlooked by a lot of agents is making sure the photos, the videos are all syndicated. And what I mean by that, we use a service called Tour Factory where the photos are uploaded and syndicated nationally. So they're they're pushed out to realtor.com and, and a lot of those um, high-end um, search uh, companies that, that people use for finding real estate. So make sure your photos are syndicated, that they're put into a tour so that they have a good flow to them. Uh, when somebody clicks on the link, they can kind of easily go through all the photographs. So make sure your agent uses syndicated photography. All right, guys, you're almost there. You're ready to put that sign in the yard. It's getting to that point where you're ready to go. Um, one piece of advice I give to my customers, and it's um, something that's very important and crucial information for us here in Central Florida, is to talk about how we are going to get feedback on the showings. Feedback is, is absolutely the most important thing in the process because it's going to tell you what buyers are realistically thinking about your house, what things they're bringing up that may be a, uh, a concern to you. I'll give you a real life example. Um, we had listed a house on the market and I was getting very consistent feedback about the neighbor's house. It had nothing to do with our listing. It's nothing we can control either, 
but it gives us an idea of what people are looking at when they're going to the house. The neighbor's house had some challenges uh, that was putting people off from buying this house. Um, again, nothing we can do about it, but at least we know where the feedback, where the challenges are coming. So um, how we're gonna follow up, how that is gonna be relayed to you as a seller, those are key points that you need to keep in mind uh, when, when getting prepared for putting your house on the market. So one of the big things I'm always asked is, what is it gonna take to sell my house? And it's really a, a fairly straightforward answer to that question. Uh, what it's gonna take is for a buyer to see value in your house and, and visualize themselves moving into that house. Um, so whether it's the price, whether it's uh, the improvements you've done to the house, um, it's really that point at which a buyer feels the house is worth what you're asking and is willing to put a, an offer forward to visualize themselves living in that house. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. If we go through all the steps I just outlined, you're in good shape to get the, the house sold fairly quickly and for the price you want. If you guys like this video, take some time, put some comments below. If you have other suggestions or things you wanna to add to it, uh, or you have additional questions, let me know below. Also keep in mind in the description, I have included a link to a document which you can uh, download for free. Uh, it just goes through things to consider when selling a house. Um, so you have that in PDF or paper form if you wanna print it out. I appreciate your time, you guys. Have a good rest of your week, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.